Now we will tackle the self-faced ruffle with heading and a double ruffle. We will have to set up the ruffle a little differently than we did with the plain ruffle. Start by making a rectangle with a width that matches the edge you will attach the ruffle to. I'll use 223 because that matches this edge. Like the plain ruffle, the height needs to be double the final length that you want. In this case, I want a ruffle with a length of 100 millimeters for the final length. So I'll use a length of 20, I mean, not 20, 200. Since the ruffle with heading has a shorter top than bottom, we need to decide on the length we want for each section. Make sure the numbers that you choose add up to your final length. For example, my final length is 100 millimeters, so I'll pick 30 millimeters for the top and 70 millimeters for the bottom section. I'll add my first guideline, guide point, by right clicking here, skip the menu, and picking 30. And I'll do that again, 30 down. Then here I can just say 50%. So now we have 30, 30, 70, and 70. Now we want to set up a guide for the 6 millimeter gathering lines. Instead of using a guide pattern like we did in the other tutorial, we would just use guide points. Okay, We're going to put these guide points around this middle point. So we're going to right click and put 3. We're going to right click on the other side and put Three. And this will delineate our gathering line section. I'm going to turn off synchronization just so it make this part faster. I'm going to draw out some internal lines. And I'm going to Control C to copy, Control V to paste them. And then I'm just going to drag out these endpoints. Remember that you can use Shift or Control to constrain movement. Just remember to drag the dot first, I mean the endpoint, and then hit shift so we don't end up dragging the whole line. Now I want to change the folding angle of these lines to zero. Leave the gathering lines alone. I want to go down here to the garment and add a six millimeter guide point and I could just paste again to put this line here and drag it out I can go up here and delete these guide points because they'll get in the way later when we go to sew the edge of ship. I'll turn synchronization back on and turn on the arrangement points. Make sure your pattern is selected and then hit here. I'm going to change this fabric to something stiff like leather belt or denim. Make sure your bending is between 90 and 99. You want to go ahead and pin this okay. 
Let me just simulate it. You want these edges to bend inward. That's good enough. And now we're going to change this to particle distance 10. You want a medium weight fabric. So let's pick cotton. And we want to up the simulation thickness to 6. Now we can sew these edges. And you want to make sure you're sewing the edges to guidelines and not to the fold lines. You want to sew them to the guideline, the gathering lines, excuse me. Now I'm going to put the pins back. And simulate it again. Okay. Let's cue to straighten out anything we need to straighten out. And then you want to sew the garment to the ruffle. So we can go here and here. We're sewing the gar the gathering lines here to these gathering lines. Now you want to arrange this again and simulate this. Make sure that this is out far enough so that they don't cause a problem when you go to sew them. Now you're going to segment sew the edges close. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Then you're going to go over here, make sure simulation is on. You're going to drag this out little bit by little bit, just like we did with the pony ruffle. Take your time so that you don't get penetration problems. Remember that you can use Control L to turn on line length, and you can see the length here. Usually, if you wanted to have a full ruffle, you go three times as long. But I'm just going to go out near double, just for this demo. You can get very accurate by looking at the line length. Okay. I'm going to make this fold at angle 360 so that I can get an indentation here when the particle distance goes up. I'm going to make it 5 particle distance and we're going to use silk so that it won't hurt and remember that you can change these folding lines to render folded false if you want a softer edge and that's your ruffle with heading that's self-faced now, for the double ruffle, I won't show the whole thing step by step. 
because it's exactly like the ruffle with heading except that you set up the pattern differently with the links here on the side the double ruffle has equidistant links so that's what you need to do here and to do that all you need to do is pick your add point tool and for your first point you do 50 50 for your second point you put on the other line do 50 50 and you do the same here 50 50 and then you do everything like you did with the other ruffle with the gathering lines your guides and everything else and this is what a double ruffle that is self-faced would look